when we look at 2024, it's clear, isn't it, the evidence is all around us, that we've got to make this year a year of change for the north of England, for Britain as well. And that change needs to start right here in Rochdale on February the 29th, with Azar being elected. That is the signal we have to send, that this change is coming now, that Britain desperately needs. And I can't illustrate why we need that change any better than what I'm about to say to you. Ten years ago, you'll remember, George Osborne came to Greater Manchester yeah. Yeah. and he promised us a northern powerhouse. We would have HS2. We would have an east-west line called HS3 as it was then. Railway services everywhere would, would get better. You remember, you remember him coming and yeah. saying uh, all of that. So where are we ten years on from that? Ten years on... Rail services in Rochdale have got worse. People have to put up with daily chaos on the railways here. HS2 has been scrapped. And where has the money been spent? Well, some of it's been spent in London. What an insult to people here. And there's a report out today from the Public Accounts Committee that says that not only are we not getting HS2, rail services out of Manchester Piccadilly, which people here have to use, are going to be slower in the future because of the Tories' decision to scrap HS2, and there's going to be fewer seats on those trains. The rail services are actually going to go backwards as a result of what they've done. No northern powerhouse, absolutely nothing uh, of, what they, of what they said. The Conservative Party is guilty of perpetrating a huge fraud on the people of the north of England, and they won't forget it. Rochdale won't. Forget it. People here need change.